Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and in this video, it's all about the unboxings. Here I have another battle subscription subscription services for you. Here is Ipsy My Glam, and this is Birchbox. I thought it might be a little late in the month to do these because mine did. Well, Birchbox was delayed because of the snow in the east. Uh, but I asked a few of you if you were still interested in seeing a video like this, and you said yes. So here we are. Let's get to it. Let's start with Birchbox because they had some tricks up their sleeve this month. So here's the card, I'm just going to run straight down it to show you. Inside this little packet there is a Juicy Couture perfume sample. The scent is Couture La La and the description says, Roll out the red carpet for this new scent, a stunning mix of mandarin, red currant, lily, and orange blossom. It's a pretty standard sample size now here with the little spritz. It actually has the spritz, which I love. Um, I said before I like receiving perfume samples, It's I would prefer to receive um, different things aside from perfume samples but this they're not a bad thing I don't hate them so and I've never tried this particular perfume before which is always nice when it's something new to me next on the list is the secret agent beauty lip secret lip affair and this is just a lip gloss the description says we've been fooling around with this gentle lip plumper for weeks infused with vitamin E it expertly heals dryness and I'm wearing it right now so you can get a feel for how the color actually looks when applied um, it is, it does tingle, it says it's plumping, and it does definitely tingle in terms of where it's like the average lip gloss. It's not terribly sticky, so it doesn't last a long, long time, but if you don't like sticky lip glosses, that might be good for you. A full size of this retails for 16 so it's on par with something you'd find in Sephora, like Stila, or something to that effect, so it's not, uh, and obviously it'd be a bigger size, but this is a nice healthy size for your purse or your travel, wherever you're going. If you don't want to lose a full size lip gloss, this is a nice little thing to take with you, and it's a... It's a good lip gloss. It's kind of a neutral, almost universally flattering berry tone, but obviously you can see from my lips it's not terribly dramatic. So that was a nice winner. And it's makeup, which is a nice diversion from the skincare fragrance heavy boxes that have been coming out in the past. Next is the big sample. That is the TG Rockaholic Fun Times Flexible Hairspray. And I use this on my hair today, actually. I like how it holds. The description says, for a natural looking finish that still keeps elaborate styles intact, we turn to this non-sticky hairspray. And this, again, is a nice, it's 2.3 ounces. I just used this when I was traveling and it works well on my hair and it also works well as a travel size. So I love receiving these. In general, I really like the brand TG or their hair products that they have. So I was pretty confident I would like this hairspray. Using it really only confirmed that. And it's a nice sample size to get in this box. Again, another departure from the skincare uh, lifestyle editions they had in the past. And then the last addition to this box, I was almost disappointed when I saw it because I thought it was more of the same old that was neat the first time I saw it, but then like the second, third, and even fourth time I saw it, I was like, okay, well, I could do without that. And that is a twist band, but this is not any twist band. This is a twist band headband, which I really like because I like the concept of the twist band. It's like this decorative kind of hair band, but you can wear it on your wrist and not have it look like a, just a blah lip or lip, hair, hair tie. Um, so this, I'm not going to put it on because like I said, it did my hair and it's rare that it looks decent. So I'm not going to put it on my head, but I did like that it was a nice change up from the typical twist band that goes on your wrist. There was one more treat that came in this box and that was a square of Ghirardelli chocolate and that was gone, surprisingly, not by me. The second I opened this box, it's like Andrew, Mr. Making Up the Midwest, Spidey senses started tingling and he was front and center right there ready to take the chocolate away from me. So he got that little treasure and I'm sure it was delicious, but it was another nice little extra. Again, not beauty, kind of a little lifestyle-y thing, but at least, I mean, food is practical and this happened to be delicious food. So those are always kind of a welcome addition to my boxes at least. Now let's move into my glam. Here's the card for this month and I should have mentioned that both of these had the red carpet theme because after all, tis the season for all of the red carpet awards, namely, as I film this, the Oscars. So it's all about getting red carpet ready, glamming up, etc, etc. Is a Pixie Primer. This is the Flawless and Poreless Primer, Pore Minimizing Face Primer, Oil-Free, Hydrating, Hypoallergenic for all skin types. I vacillate between whether I think primers are effective or whether they do nothing. I'm still I, I'm indecisive. I can't really tell. This particular primer has more, it's not silicone which I love because I do know that I don't like those slippery silicone kind of primers. It's not one of those. It's more like a thick lotion. Kind of more like uh, Too Faced Primed and Poreless but less of a, I don't know, there's a, a subtle difference but I can't really name it 
or I don't care to take the time to do it right now. Uh, but it's slightly different, but I do like it. Now, have I noted that it really enhances the wear time of my foundation? Not necessarily, but it certainly doesn't hinder it. So if you're a primer kind of gal, you have oily skin, you're looking for a good primer and you hate those silicone ones, this might be a good one to look for. Then we have, and I love these, a Coastal Sense Quad. This particular one has candlelight, which is a light grayish white. I mean like very frosty light grayish white that's perfect for a highlight. It has gunmetal, which is a, looks black in the pan. Here, I should open it so you can see it, although I'm sure I'll give you some close-ups. It looks black in the pan and it has kind of red shimmers, although I used it to create this look today and I didn't really notice the red shimmers, but um, yeah, it's different. Then down here in this lower corner you have incognito, which looks almost the same as gunmetal, but it's it comes off a little more gray and ashy on the eyes, and that's what I have in my crease today, so you can see it softens up really nicely. And then you have Ashen down here, which is kind of a... Excuse me? Which is kind which is kind of a muted grayish pewter. I love getting these quads because Coastal Scents, they don't produce the best shadows. I mean, they are, they're okay, they're good. But I think what I like most about getting these is having the different color combinations presented to me. And I know a lot of other people just like getting new different shadows to play with, to create a different look. Just spice things up in your makeup collection a little bit. So these are always good additions for me. Next in the Ipsy bag was the Pop Beauty Mascara. This is actually the Smoky Lash Kapow Mascara in number one Smoky Black. Now I'm not gonna worry about getting this too close to the camera because I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I have close-ups coming of this, like I have pictures already taken. And I also have before and after shots as well. And if you ask me, there's nothing super dramatic of this. I mean, Kapow or Kaplow, whatever they use to describe it, I don't necessarily think I'd say that. It's great at lengthening, curling, separating, but not in a dramatic way. It's a great natural everyday mascara if you ask me. But I did notice I didn't have any issue with it running, clumping, um, flaking off during the day. I didn't have any of that, which is always great to come from any mascara. So that's a bonus. It's a good thing. Plus it's great for traveling. I actually took this traveling this weekend as well. Just a great little throw in your bag kind of thing. Two more things. We are almost done. This, uh, here are the lash cards, individually wrapped mascara shields. I have yet to use these. Uh, well, I guess I should preface this. What they do is they keep you from getting mascara. Um, sometimes when you apply it and you blink or do something, you can get mascara up on your eyelid or beneath your lower lash line. And this is supposed to help safeguard that. You just stick it under there, apply your mascara, helps, it keeps it from getting on your skin and you having to do the cleanup thing. I don't notice really having, the problem isn't there for me and so I haven't used them yet to, you know, I just don't know how effective they would be considering I don't have the problem to begin with. But if you find that you do have that problem, these are slick little things to keep on hand and you've got three, two, three of them in this pouch. So it's not like you just got one card, which I assume you could reuse, but you get three, which is a really nice kind of deal. And then the last thing that was in this month's Ipsy bag was the Micah Beauty Cosmetics Gel Liner. And in fact, I don't even know that this is for sure a gel liner because they never put the names of the products or the prices for that matter on these cards. They just give you the discounts, which you can find in the bottom bar if I have them. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how much this retails for, but it is a full-size product and it is a good gel liner. I'm wearing it today and it applied really smoothly. It's very opaque at first swipe. And I've tried it uh, previously, wearing it all day long, and I didn't notice flaking, smearing, smudging, washing away, period, during the day, which is always good. And it's a, just a nice standard black gel liner. It's always something good to receive in a bag like this that's 10 bucks. You expect to receive a bunch of samples, maybe something a little bigger, more generous. And here comes a full-sized basic black gel eyeliner. Love it. Couldn't be happier. So in terms of comparison, this month was a little bit harder for me because Birchbox was savvy and threw in this full-size hairspray as well as the lip gloss. I liked it, one, because they, it was a generously sized product, which I feel like I should be getting for $10 a month considering that's what Ipsy, that's kind of par for the course now that Ipsy is in the game. The other thing is that I'm glad they've departed a little bit this month from the skincare lifestyle thing because I've said it once and I'll say it again, I don't like changing up my skincare routine. I find my skin is really sensitive to that. I have acne prone skin and so when I put fragrance stuff or just kind of disrupt the routine I have going my skin freaks out it breaks out it just doesn't 
behave and so I never get to try those products and it's an absolute waste of money for them to come in my box. So I was so happy to find that I'm going to be able to use all of these products this month and I have used them and I actually really enjoy them. So like I said, it's really hard to choose one or the other or recommend one or the other. As usual, it comes down to what you liked in each box and which you would prefer to receive on a monthly basis, but all I have to say is Birchbox is stepping up their game. Whether or not that will remain consistent is anyone's guess, but still, this month was a win pretty much from both for me. So, thank you so much for watching. I'd love, again, as always, to hear what you got in your February monthly subscriptions, either in a video response or in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching my videos. See you in the next one. Bye.